Hello everybody, one more video. Today we're playing on Amiga today. See the screen, playing tremendous games. It's Double Dragon 3, it was at a stone. Copyright 1991, Tecmo's Corporation. I did a long play of this game a very long time ago. But I'm not a fan of my earlier content. And like I said, on some of my other long plays, I'm trying to remake a lot of my earlier ones and make it better. This is next on the list. We've been it many, many times, but why not? Today's the day. Double Dragon 3, it was at a stone. Let's go. Okay, so the game is Double Dragon 3, The Rosetta Stone, a side scrolling beat up arcade game produced by Tecmo's Japan in 1990. It's the third arcade game in Double Dragon series. Unlike the two previous games in the series, Double Dragon 3 was not developed internally by Tecmo's, but the threat was instead contracted by the company East Technologies. The result of the game that looks and plays differently to its predecessors. Now, this is a one or two player game. I have to admit, the bigger version I do like, but not many people did. It didn't score overly high. And it's either a one or two player game. We are playing as Billy Lee. If you're playing as two player, the other can the role of Jimmy Lee. But anyway, to try and defend ourselves, we're going to go into the weapon shop and do a few upgrades. You have 15 coins, and this game is also timed. But also, your skills are very, very limited at starting points. So again, you find kicks, punches, and kicks. Go to the shop and spend your money wisely. It's limited. It always is in a game like this. Okay, what would you like? You need only one coin to purchase any of the items below. Right, we'll go for extra guys, we'll go for tricks, and we'll go for power up. As in the previous games of the series, player takes control of twin martial artists Billy and Jimmy Lee as approached by a mysterious fortune teller named Uruko, who sends them on a worldwide journey to retrieve three mystical wizard of stones and uncover the mystery surrounding them in Egypt. The game's arcade village is followed by home versions of the Sega Genesis Game Boy and various personal computers. In 2013, emulated versions of the arcade original for various platforms were officially released by .emu, along with the previous two arcade games in a bundle called the Double Dragon Trilogy. Right, so now we're going to the shop and bought additional skills, also you can buy additional characters. And I have to admit, Billy and Jimmy aren't great in this game, however, if one character dies, if you have more in your possession, he'll then take suit, which of course next is going to be Sunny, which is a lot better, he has much longer legs. Also in the shop, you buy additional energy and a casual weapon, but it's very rare. But one thing you cannot get in this game is additional coins. Ten is all we have at the moment of time, but there we go, go for the door. Okay, so we go to a different room, your time is restored, but however, your coins, your energy is not. We've got 100 energy. Only we go to a different country is your health is fully restored. But now, do get the occasional motorbikes thrown into the mix. A flying kick to sort those out. Only one man knows the real story behind Marion's disappearance. And he's dead. Now the only dragons must rely on the mysterious fortune teller to locate the Marion and her ransom, the sacred stones of power. You'll fend off vicious street thugs, evil ninja warriors, deadly gladiators and barbarians and more. Defeat your most dreaded enemies and out of pure respect they'll join your side. Adding their own claws and Shanghai stars to all new martial arts maneuvers like the awesome mid-air somersault. Double Dragon 3, if you survive the action you'll rescue Marion, retain your honour and discover the truth behind the sacred stones. Right, Q Sunny. But again, we have less skills, we can buy them in the shop first. But yeah, he's a much better character, he's much bigger in size, much more powerful, but of course he is slower. But yes, much longer reach, which is what you want in a game like this. But again, not a long level this one, but deal with the boss and we move on to the next country. But again, time is not an issue, health is not an issue either. But there we go, we're off the mark. The first stone is in China, the battle is waiting for you, Double Dragon. Okay, we get on a plane, we head over to China, got 225 health. How are we going to increase that? One gold coin per item, extra guys, tricks and power up. So now, we can actually take more additional damage, now we've got 275. The Lee brothers face a tough admission today as Hyuko the Ancient Soothsayer guides them on a possible location of elusive or set of stones. This journey will call upon their greatest skills as they face treachery and evil forces on the mission through exotic landscapes. Billy and Jimmy need to work together to discover, once and for all, the evil that lies beneath the secret of the stones. All their years of meditation and training help them survive this perilous journey. The choice is yours. So, of course, we haven't died yet, but continue as Sunny. However, you can also go into the shop any time to replenish your energy before you have additional coins. But also, you, I've now bought myself additional power, which is this crazy dive move. It's a combination of a headbutt and an elbow, but also it helps you make some really, really good grounds. And also, as additional hit, when the enemies are on the floor, you can jump onto their stomachs. But yeah, you can move around a lot faster, and also the long attacks makes it a very good thing as well. But anyway, 245 might increase it a little bit more, but again, 
Not many shops, no additional ways to get additional coins. So, we're going to increase it once again, increase more energy. Right, so again, not an overly long level, but again, a boss battle is at the end of it. But again, boss battles aren't overly bad in this game. But also, you want to try and get your enemies on one side of you. And also, if possible, in a pack, you can hit multiple with one hit or punch. But anyway, this will, the, the final phase, and we go into another country, but this should result in one of the Zotter Stones. But again, try and deal with these people first. But again, if you've got more additional characters, if you die, then of course, the next one will take full centre stage. But again, you have to buy those skills again. But anyway, time is ticking away, so we should be alright though. We'll pretty much at the end of this jungle, cue the boss. You will have to kill me first before you touch the stone. I'll try. Again, that dive is fantastic. Try and get on one side. Also, you can sort of lock them in the wrong location. And just keep them repeatedly. Right, so again, they're on one side. Let's keep them there. Right, just you and me. Again, jump on the stomach for additional hit if you can. Billy and Jimmy couldn't do that skill. Keep him there. There we go. Down and out. Okay, we've gone from the USA to China. Now we arrive in Japan. I'm going to stay by the shop door. This is the final shop in this game. After that, there's no turning back. However, we cannot buy additional weapons. Sunny can't hold any. Only Billy and Jimmy can do that. But yeah, what I'm going to try and do here, because this is the next boss. It's very difficult. It's the most difficult one in the game. More difficult than the last boss. Stay by the shop door, and when your energy gets really low, then increase it before the boss. That's the plan, anyway. Yeah, one thing's for sure, you cannot have a sword. Keep it on one side of you and try and get them into a pack. Again, not a long level. But in, I guess all games themselves, all three games, Double Dragon games, are not overly long, really. Right, 130. Okay. Some of that. Right. Scroll the screen to more enemies onto the scene. Now you go up or down here. However, the top way is a lot more dangerous and so many more traps. We got the final level of the first Double Dragon. Kind of like that. But not as extreme. Right. 130. Not enough. I do take quite a lot of hits. Going to the shop. Right, again, one gold piece is enough. But you cannot increase it any more than what we have now, which is 275. What we're trying to do now is don't take any damage. Again, keep them in the pack. Do whatever you can do. You can hit them as they get up as well. Keep them there. Is that it? I think so. Okay, boss battle territory. However, I've got a few more guards to deal with first. Right, 275. Again, we have our skills. Save the energy. Do whatever you can. But yeah, this next boss is basically a ninja. What makes it very difficult is when he's not down onto the floor. He's not on the floor very long. But also, when he hits you, it's very difficult to get out of it. You sort of, you sort of get soft lock, you say. He has, also has shurikens and smart bombs, but worse than that, he makes a duplicate version of himself. So he starts off as one, but eventually goes to three. Again, like these, you want to keep them in one side of you, and if possible, against the wall. Just keep hitting them repeatedly. Right, 145. Again, we cannot replace any more energy. Can't buy any more characters. That is it now. The game features weapon shops where Billy and Jimmy can buy power-ups, tricks, energy, and extra lives to aid them in their quest. Powers make Billy and Jimmy twice their size, increasing their damage done and range of attacks. Right, here he is. Over time, he's not where we want him to be. Keep him there. No, he's got out of there. Go back there. Yeah, it might look okay at the moment of time. But that can change. Once he starts hitting you, it's... You're stuck, basically. It just keeps on hitting you repeatedly. Yeah, the smoke bombs are deadly. Right. There's one down. There's two down. My lord. My lord, I am lucky to get out of that. 30 remaining.
Okay, next location, we arrive in Italy. The Japanese version of Double Dragon 3 was later finished later than the English version and features drastic changes as a result. Most of those being the item shops were removed from the game and the players can instead choose which characters control at the start of the game, allowing the ability to start the game with any of the three new fighters. Players have access to their character's entire repertoire of moves. Although the command's input for the Hogan kit requires more precise timing than the Japanese version, since weapons are no longer purchasable items, they can be found lying around on the floor in certain stages, waiting to be picked up by a player controlling a lead brother. The game also was made easier, resulting in one third less damage than the overseas release. Now this is again a very very short level, even shorter than the first one, but of course now they have bow and arrows, and that's some stream reloading. But again, go to before, keep them in one pack and hit them where it hurts, and keep them there. But again, boss battle, not too far away, but certainly not as difficult as one before. But anyway, considering I've resisted it there, 190, I'm very happy with that. But again, there's time a bit, but we have five coins, we cannot spend any more coins. Right, boss battle. After returning home for the two-year training mission, Billy and Jimmy come across a fortune teller named Hiroko. The woman tells the brothers that in order to challenge the world's strongest adversary, they must seek out the three Rosetta Stones that have been scattered around the world. Right. Yeah, this game, you definitely do need a passport. There's a lot of travelling in this game. But we're not too far away now. There we go. Okay, final destination is Egypt. The game was not internally developed by Techbos Japan. They were busy working on other projects at the time, such as WWF Superstars and the Combat Tribes. It said a company called East Technology, whose previous work was a 1989 arcade shooter by Bergantes, that was developed for the third game in the series, resulting in a sequel with drastically different gameplay and graphic style to its predecessors. The game was controversial upon its release due to the addition of the item shops where players acquire power by inserting real money into the cabinet, which was removed from the late Japanese release after negative feedback from play testers. Right, again, good old motorbikes. Have some of that. Well timed flying kick. Okay, we progress on. The more we progress in this game, the more and more enemies turn a little bit more unhuman. I'm assuming these are mummies. Mummies with no heads. And also, instead of arms, they have whips or ropes or vines. But every time you kill one of them, they actually turn into a tree stump. The version for the NES system, titled Double Dragon 3 The Second Stones, was released on February 1991, a few months after the Japanese arcade release. The version is not a port, but rather an actual parallel project that was developed simultaneously with the arcade release. While the plot of the two versions are similar, the graphics, gameplay and system and characters featured in the NES version are very different compared to the arcade version. And still to this day, I've never played arcade versions of 2 or 3, but I have played 1 to absolute death. Double Dragon 3 was ported to various platforms under the title license of Trade West. Versions for release for ZX Spectrum, Atlas CBC, Commodore 64, Mega and Tire ST in late 991. Followed by IBM PC Genesis and Game Boy versions in 1994. These versions of the game were developed by Sales Curve, with the exception of Genesis version that was handled by Software Creations. The Game Boy and Genesis version were published by Claim under the title Double Dragon 3 The Arcade Game, distinguishing them from the earlier NES release. My lord, do what the while doing it. Anyway, ended that with 145, but we're still going. Again, there's so many enemies here, but again, you don't want one on either side of you, especially when they're all attacking you at once. You're gonna be stuck in the middle like a double dragon sandwich. 115. Again, time's in place, we have coins, we can't not spend a single dime now. Go for the door. Right, there we go, the time is still ticking. This door will never open without the three was at a stones. There is a secret under beneath here, go and find them, we'll find out what it is. Okay, so here, we don't actually have any people. All we've got to try and do here is dodge these two hazards. One being a hand, one being a block, or a rock, or stone. Move up and down. What we're trying to do is try and keep them close together. But again, don't take too much damage at this late stage. So keep them close together, move up or down or diagonally to avoid as much damage being sustained as possible. Yeah. Very, very quiet level. Double Dragon 3 was released in 2013 alongside the first two arcade games in a compilation titled Double Dragon Trilogy, produced by .emu, which was released on iOS, Android and Steam platforms. It only includes the overseas version of the game. 
Right, so now we've got additional enemies, and also we've got this rotating blade that goes across the screen. It's quite difficult to tell where it is at what point. We're on the right plane, is it, should we say? So again, move up and down to avoid the hazards. But the enemies are not affected by it, only your character is. Yeah, that went just over my shoulder. Just missed my face. Again, get through the door. Okay, do the words Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade spring to mind? What we're going to try and do here is basically spell the word risotta. Stand anywhere else and you fall through the floor. Do it successfully and it opens the door. Okay, on we go. And for some reason, my character has got a different colour haircut. But anyway, again, enemies. Not human again. But this time, again, they're throwing projectiles. Those projectiles being detachable arms. And also, every so often, they actually crumble into a big pile of rock. When that happens, you cannot attack them. Wait for them to reform themselves and then go for the kill. But again, we still have our special skills. We still have full energy and time is okay as well. Jump on their stomachs. Do what we can do to make it easy for you. But don't be hit by those projectiles. But again, not a long section of the game. Yeah, I've completed this game so many times. I don't know, I've lost complete count how many times I've done it. But also, Double Dragon 2 is also probably my favourite on the Amiga. But that one is very difficult. Again, you can be soft locked in that game because enemies can get you stuck in a corner or in the middle of something and keep hitting you repeatedly. And every time you get up, you get straight knocked back down again. Kind of like this as well. Again, keep them at bay. Watch out for flying arms. It's 125. Use flying kicks. Yeah, they come out the ground. Nearly there. Time 100. It's plenty. Don't think I've ever run out of time in this game. Not once. The game's not long enough to run out of time. There we go. Head to the door. I'm impressed. You really have strength. She turns on you. Basically, she is now the enemy. She's small, but you can still punch her in the face. And keep it there. <laughs> Poor dude. But she was mean, after all. There we go, add some of that. Oh, my treasure! Not anymore, it's mine. Okay, we arrive at the final destination, the final conversation between good and evil. And again, it's another mummy battle, but this one has two fully functioning arms and a head above the shoulders. But again, there are some difficult boss battles in this game, but this one is not too bad, not too shabby for a final boss of the game. But again, you can sort of lock them in one location just keep punching or kicking repeatedly. It works. But yes, the game didn't score overly highly. A lot of you are probably thinking it's not a good game. It's not a great game, but it is a good game. I do like it. But it's not as good as 2. 2 is definitely the better one. But I've completed this one a hell of a lot more than 2. But anyway, the boss is down, but not quite out yet. One more screen remains. But again, you can pretty much do it in the same fashion, just lock them in one location. But also, your energy is very generously restored for the final conversation. Again, punches or kicks or diving abilities if you have them, they work. But she also does fire, fireballs across the screen, also jumps around the screen a lot. But again, you can lock them in one location. Is that it? One more? There we go! Boom, boom, pow! Okay, back to the memory we go. Again, so many times in the past, not a lot to the end of the game, but that's retro for you. But again, Double Dragon 3 is done. And this is replacing the early video I did on this game with my channel. Hopefully this one is a lot more better. Certainly a lot more artistic reading this time. But again, hope you enjoy it. This is Jamie Wallace Games. Please like, comment, share, please share our channel. Please a fan page, please a twist. Don't tell me Wallace Games, you find it fairly easily. Please remember to get the bell icon and the very visit load. Fantastic. For well, this video, you haven't been making and live streams on Friday night. You can sign with the clock. It's hard on my way. Take time to see you. Ciao, bye. See ya. So there we go. I've actually got nunchucks. 
which are poo. They really are not good. But it's very rare I get to this area with Billy. Keep him there. Once there was one, now there's three. Fantastic, fantastic, there's two. There's three. Brilliant, I'm happy with that. Fantastic. Third arcade game in the WWE series. Unlike its predecessors. No, unlike the two previous games in the series. WWE 3 was not developed internally at Tech Mode, but developed was instead. We got. Hang on. So, yeah, again, very, very limited range. But that should disappear now, I think. Sunny can't pick it up. Yeah, that's confirmed. Right, gotcha. Okay, so the game is just... And it's a Tarkin 3 there, for some reason. This is not Tarkin 3, Jamie. Not even close. It's the third arcade okay game in the Double Dragon series. Unlike the previous two games in the series, Double Dragon 3 was not developed internally at Tech Mode, but the player was instead contracted in the company... That's really difficult to read. We're trying to defeat these people at the same time. The game's arcade release was followed by home versions for the Sega Genesis, Game Boy, and various personal computers. In 2013, emulated versions of... Doorbell. 